Hello, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today's topic is boundaries. If you want to be boundless, limitless in your expression and really be open to the possibilities for your life, one of the starting points here that is mission critical for you is to connect with this concept of boundaries. So when I say boundaries, doesn't it sound tight? Doesn't it sound like some tension is there even in the word itself bound, like tied up boundaries? Ooh, that's a that's a word that's kind of tricky, isn't it? Yes, it is. So let's take a moment to feel into your physical body. Use your intuition of your body. Your body is extremely intuitive and in tune. So let's listen to it. Feel into your body. And when I say the word boundary, boundaries. Where in your body do you notice that or feel it? Just take a moment. You can repeat it to yourself. Boundary, boundaries. Where is that in your body? Oftentimes, this will be an indicator for you as to which part of your chakras or your energy centers of the body that your boundaries are being challenged, hidden, or resistant in. So for me, I feel it right away in my heart chakra, right across the front of my chest, almost like a badge of honor and not real proud of that, I'm going to say, not feeling real proud of that, but I am aware of it, so I'm going to honor that. So go into that place right there, whatever place you identified in your body. And I want you to do some conscious breathing into that. Oh, I know you're like, oh, yeah, whatever. Breathing, it's just like normal. Yes, uh, news flash. If you're listening to this Sunday morning coffee episode, news flash. Intuition, energy, healing, psychicness. It's not complicated. It's basic. It's all natural. And if you don't really get that or understand it, then you, there's the problem right there. There's your resistance. Okay, open your mind to actually acknowledge the possibility that this is simple and you can do this. You can do it. Connect. Feel into that part of your body and use the natural rhythm of your breathing to soften that space. Go right into that spot. I'm actually going to physically put my hand on the upper part of my chest, just under my throat. It's kind of under my collarbone. I'm going to breathe into that area. I'm going to exhale out. When you do this, when you simply draw your awareness, you focus on that area, it allows the energy to expand with your breath, to release, to create room and space so that it is palatable. It is workable. The resistance can lighten up and allow for you to then implement this whole energetic process of boundaries, okay? Boundaries, boundary. I want you to start to connect this concept of boundary with the word boundless. Boundless. Boundaries are boundless. Boundaries will help to create space and room so that you can be boundless, limitless, completely creative in your safe and sacred space. And the way to do that is to allow for yourself to have a boundary. So the imagery of the boundary is going to be a circle. We're going to draw a golden circle on the ground. Yes, a nice yellow circle. Why yellow, Bridget? Because that is connected to the solar plexus. That's your spirit. That's the chakra at the belly. That's also referred to as the sun chakra. It's where intuition is in your body. And so this golden circle is to honor that. So we're going to just draw a big circle around as though you're standing outside on a gorgeous springtime day with the nice green, green grass. And you're going to draw a yellow circle around as far out as, if it, as tall as you are and your arms could reach out in front of you, behind you, off to the sides, above you, and you're going to even imagine it going into the earth. So there's a big circle of energy starting from that simple singular point of a golden circle on the earth. So just imagine that. Use your brain. Use your brain for good. Use your imagination, which is a very close connection to the third eye. Uh-huh. Yeah. How do you think all those visual imagery things can happen? 
How do you think that's possible? Yeah, that's the mind's eye. Yeah, that's the portal of the third eye chakra. Yeah, that's clairvoyance just a starting. So allow yourself to visualize that. As you're breathing in and exhaling out, allow this energetic space to be created. We're going to ask your healing team, your spiritual helpers, aligned with your highest good, the energy of your God, source, creator of earth, of the energy of the universe, to support you, to encourage you, to create this freedom within the boundary that you are provided with this golden circle of light. We're amplifying this energy as a catalyst. We're using light, the golden light energy of the circle. It is now multidimensional and it can express. You can be free. You can be safe. You can be as creative as you choose to be within this sacred space. And by the way, you then can choose a point where you can pass through, where others can come in, a doorway where you can choose who comes into your space and when, and you can choose when you exit your space and when. The truth of the matter is, wherever you go, there you are. And so there, this bubble, this energy, this boundary space with this gold and light circle can go with you anywhere and everywhere. It's not about keeping others out. It's not about controlling energy. It's about recognizing the energy that you're choosing to have closest to you. Be generous with this safe and sacred space for yourself. Allow yourself some freedom. You've got to have some room to create, to be innovative, to experiment, to feel into and allow your emotions to be free in this space and to include your thoughts and allow yourself to really, really work on your behalf for your greatest good, your highest good in this lifetime and beyond. All right, so boundaries energetically, this is what it means. This is what it is in simplest form. You can talk to your blue in your face about boundaries and you can journal about it. But I want you to connect the words boundaries and boundless together. I want you to think boundless, limitless, that your space is yours, that you claim it, that this is a powerful space. Again, it's not because you need protection and you're afraid. It's because you have so much power that you need a room and a space to create and express that for yourself. You as the audience, you in intimate, sacred space. So the next step here then when you're thinking about boundaries is I want you to use your brain. Let's use your mind and get out that journal and write. What does boundaries mean to you? What does this concept of boundaries mean to you? What does it mean? Define it. Then I want you to do the same thing with boundless. What does that mean to you? When I say the word boundless, what does it mean to you? With both of these questions, you are going to get likely sensory responses. So I want you to include the sensory responses as well. And if you don't get a sensory response, what that would be, uh, you can probe that, you can dig deeper for that. You can ask yourself, how does, how does this feel to me? What does boundaries feel like? What does boundless feel? feel like? What color would this be? If it's going to be a color, what color would it be? And why would it be that color? What does that color evoke from me? What does it bring up for me? When I have this connection to the word boundaries, what is the relationship for me that comes up? It could be a relationship with another person. It could be a specific experience or circumstance you've already had in your life. It could be something you're afraid to experience or have in your life. What is the specific circumstance or relationship that you have to boundaries? What is the relationship or the circumstance that you have connected to boundless. I want you to take these things and journal about them, explore them, go deeper. The idea is to create movement, to create flow space so that then you can be aware of the energy that's around you, encompassing you and enfolding you. Therefore, when you create that golden circle of light that then becomes multidimensional around you, you can be doing it with a consciousness, an awareness of what is best for you what you want versus what you don't want. Instead of creating more of the past, focusing more on what you would like to connect to. In order to do that, we've got to clear some of that and be aware of some of the old patterns. It doesn't have to fix everything. You don't have to step into the sacred, pristine space, pure. You come as you are, absolutely. And you can do this sacred work in this space with boundaries and boundless, and you can do it inside of this space that you have created for yourself in collaboration with your spiritual helpers and your supportive healing team.
All right. So I hope that with this episode of Sunday Morning Coffee, I've got you kind of interested in this concept of boundaries and boundless. I know we haven't gone real in depth, real intellectual, but we've got gone kind of spiritual, gone into some of the energetic energetics of it. So try not to overthink it. Just feel this. Feel your way into this space. It's extremely important as we're moving forward. This concept of boundaries has come in time and time again in my last sessions in the last two weeks. It has come in for me personally uh, with the new full moon energy here. It is very much in my awareness as we step into another season and we're going to have spring equinox here where I live in the Western Hemisphere. And we've got this, did I just say Western Hemisphere? Where, where, where I live, the energy of the springtime is coming. It's approaching quickly. And it's really important that as we move into the spring and summer months, that we have some sense of boundaries. As we redefine relationships, we start to begin to foster new goals. We have new dreams and desires around relationships because life has dramatically changed. And we want to take full advantage of this opportunity, the boundlessness of the opportunities. We're rewriting rules. We're recreating things. We don't have to go back to the old ways. We can start new patterns create new ways of being in relationship. And in order to do that, we've got to understand boundaries. We've got to have a new relationship with boundaries in and of itself that is much more generous and expansive and intimate for you as an individual spirit, for you as a heartfelt person, for you as an empath, a feeler, a sensor, (laughs) and for you as a person, a human being. All right. So this is Bridget. Thanks so much for listening. I look forward to connecting with you at Above Life channel on YouTube at my Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel as well. Bridget Inspired on Facebook and Bridget Inspired on Instagram. I hope that this episode, this podcast has inspired your spirit and filled you with hope. The purpose is always encouragement for your best life. It's your life after all. It truly is. So live it. Just live it. Thanks for listening.